had a weird conversation with me like two months into us dating. It made me think that she had some like different motives to dating me. Made me uncomfortable. She was like, Jeff, I'm happy to finally be with a white man. Black dudes, you can't trust them. They're just gonna cheat on you. They ain't <laughs> You know how uncomfortable you feel right now? Imagine how I felt. This is in real life for me. This is just a story for you. I felt uncomfortable as shit. I didn't know what to do. So I, I talked to a black friend of mine. His name's Josh. I was like, Josh, told him the whole story. He's like, Jeff, I'll tell you what you got to do, but you might not like it. I'm like, all right, let me have it. He's like, Jeff, for the culture, you got to cheat on that. <laughs> That's what. <laughs> It is so funny to see these black women get with these white guys, man, and think that they're gonna be so much different than black guys, when in actuality, the white guys is way worse than the black guys, man. I swear y'all don't give black men enough credit. They tend to think that the white man is so much better. They think that he's gonna be their knight in shining armor. In actuality, no, only thing you're doing is putting expectations on a person that you don't even really know like that. You have to get to know the person to know their expectations or their, their intentions with you. And that's what black women tend to not understand, man. It don't matter if you're dealing with a white man or a black man. First thing you should do is get to know a person, man. Stop looking at the skin color. Stop thinking that the grass is greener on the other side because I promise you it's not. I remember I had a friend. He was a, a fairly good looking white guy. He even did modeling on the side. He had a black girlfriend, man. And man, when I tell you this dude was telling me about all the cheating that he was doing with his black girlfriend, I couldn't fucking believe it. Black women will scorch the goddamn earth if they find out their black boyfriends are cheating on them. They want to cut off J's. They want to destroy marriages. They want to break up the family. They want to teach their sons that the daddy went shit. But when the white man cheats, he gets a pass. Man, my friend told me that every weekend he go out and cheat on his girl. And his girl knew about it. Fine ass goddamn black girl too. And meanwhile, while this white dude got this fine ass black girlfriend and cheat on her with like a different girl every weekend, literally. You look around today, most good black men that you know can't find a good black woman that say they got damn life, man. But they all looking for Arabian men, white men. They looking for anything under the sun that doesn't remind them of, of a black man. And they think that the grass is greener on the other side. Well, it's not, man. To tell you the truth, y'all got it better than any other woman on the planet. Y'all got the most loyal men, the top of the top of shit y'all done put black men through. For black men to rock with y'all throughout all the dysfunction and disgraceful shit black women have done to the black community. Listen, man, y'all ought to be lucky y'all even got good men like us around to tell you the truth. Just listen to her describe the type of black man that she deal with, man. Always cheating on her, no good. Black women need to realize, man, y'all attract what you are. Y'all attract the worst type of black men because y'all don't work on yourselves, man. So as a black woman, if you're not attracting the good type of black men in your life, you need to work on yourself. Cause there's so many of them out here, man. We out here in abundance. Y'all say, you know what, we tired of dealing with fuck boys and cheating black men and all this and that. Well, you ain't have to deal with them in the first place. You know, y'all look at the good black men and think that's boring. If I'm gonna get with a good black man, I might as well just get with a white man. This y'all train of thought. Y'all gotta realize these other races of men are not stupid. They realize that. They understand that. They know if you can't even deal with a good man of your own race, what do you want with him? What could you want with him, you know, other than use him? And so y'all put these other races of men in the same position y'all put black men in to just pump and dump you and then going about their business because Y'all don't bring no fucking worth. Y'all don't require a man to be spiritually grounded. Y'all don't require a man to have a good moral compass. It's like, like I said, you attract what you are, man. A lot of y'all black women, y'all attract trash because y'all have trashy attitudes. Y'all have trashy outlooks on. Dang. A lot of y'all black women, y'all attract trash because you have trashy attitudes trashy outlooks on life, trashy ways of viewing the good people of your own community, and it reflects back on you. But with all that being said, this leads me to my next point. Black men, y'all need to practice dating outside your race. Yeah, I know, I know, I just said, <laughs> I'm just telling black women that dating outside your race is not the answer, but we have gotten to a point 
But most of our women think just like this. They think just like the woman in the video. They don't care for no good black man. They want, but they want. They think the grass is greener on the other side, and they want the white man. They want the Arabian man. They want, you know, they want anything else but a black man. And so, why should so many good brothers just sit back, be lonely, have to deal with idiotic women, wretched women who don't care for nobody but themselves? Why should we have to deal with that, man? Y'all need to go out and expand your options. And of course, I'm gonna use myself for an example. Most of my life, you know, I always thought black women was the best thing in the world, man. I always wanted me a black girlfriend, want a black wife, create a black family. But most of my life, I only dealt with hair-headed hooligans and, and wretched dust buckets, man. Dealing with black women almost made me wanna not deal with women, period, man. When I say not deal with women, period, I mean, everywhere I go, I stop interacting with women, engaging with women. I just thought it was nothing positive can come out of in, an interaction with a woman. But after I started dealing with white girls, Latinas, they reminded me why you should love women, man. They reminded me the beauty of women and why women are worth fighting for, you feel me? And now I see why the white man went out and, and conquered the whole goddamn world. When you got real good, loyal, supportive, loving women in your corner, why wouldn't you do that, man? It's like they stay by your side. They encourage you, you know, they encourage you to be the best version of yourself. They encourage you to live your life to the fullest. It's a beautiful thing, man. You know, I don't, I don't know, man. You know, of course, they got their problems too. Of course, you got a lot of bad white girls out here who just trash and just destroy their men. Of course, you got a lot of crazy Latinas who want to destroy their men's lives. But the ratios are so different, man. It's like in the black community, nine times out of 10, most of the black women you run into are going to be destructive. They're going to make you live a depressed life. They're going to fuck you over in some type of way. But when you meet girls outside of your race, outside of your culture, it's like everything is flipped upside down. It's nine, it's nine times out of 10, or at least seven to eight times out of 10, you meeting a good person. You meeting somebody that is worth fucking having in your life. You meeting somebody that even if you don't work out as a couple or whatever, they'll still be good friends in your life, man. Shit is hot. God damn. Once you choose to date outside of your race, you will meet women that will change your whole outlook on life, man. I'm talking about you can be down, bad, and depressed. They'll help you look at life in a more positive outlook. You know, they ain't just gonna judge you and cast you off to the side. They'll, they'll support you and what you got going on. It's an entirely different atmosphere. It's an entirely different feeling, man. It's just different. Of course, like I said, of course, everything is not perfect. But I encourage y'all to go out there and date out, especially if you like me, you never really got no love from the so-called sister. Go out there and date out, man. You might find the love of your life out here. And this video right here is not the so-called bash any black women out there, man. I'm pretty sure there's some good black women out there. Hell, I know for a fact there's a lot of good black women out there. It's just, let's be real. Y'all ain't got no love for the good guys, man. <laughs> Y'all ain't got no love for the good guys, and it's all right. Just let these brothers go out and do their thing, have their fun with other women, man. Let us express ourselves just like I'm doing now. Don't hate, don't hate me for saying the shit I'm saying. You know, just support me. Just show me love if you want to show love and going about your business. It, 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 it is what it is. So y'all see me out here burning up in 4K, man. The sun is beaming. I will see y'all in the next video, man. Peace.